Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are outstanding in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time we're pleased to present two awards to the Sunshine Holdings Group Sri Lanka. Starting out as a retail pharmaceutical company, Sunshine Holdings has been transformed into a diversified organization with international links. Celebrating 50 years of success, the company is recognized as one of Sri Lanka's most respected conglomerates with a core focus in healthcare, agribusiness and FMCG sectors. Sunshine also has strategic investments in sectors including metal packaging, energy and telecom and commodity broking. GBAF are pleased to present two awards for Most Innovative Holding Group Sri Lanka 2016 and Most Innovative Holding Group Sri Lanka 2017. Recently visiting London Stock Exchange TV studios to receive the award from GBAF's Lynn Quornby was Group Managing Director Vish Govindasamy. Well, welcome to London and congratulations on the Global Banking and Finance Review Awards, both for last year and this year. Uh, it's really nice to see you. Thank you, Phil. Very honoured to be here and a bright day in London. And thanks to the organisation, we are um, really proud to be here. Excellent. Well, I'd love to ask you a bit more about your organisation, if we may. Uh, and uh, I suppose the, the obvious one, having won the awards, is what initiatives do you think you introduced which led to that success? Well, we are a, um, uh, a conglomerate which has many businesses. Uh, our primary business is in the healthcare and uh, the other business that we are in is the uh, plantation or agriculture business. So these two put together, which are very diversified, uh, has uh, led us to the growth and uh, to, to where we are today. And indeed, uh, you mentioned the word growth there, uh, business-wise across Sri Lanka, pretty successful anyway at the moment. We are, uh, this year, uh, ironically, we celebrate 50 years since our founder found the business in 1967. It started off as a small pharmacy in a very small town in uh, Sri Lanka. And today we have grown up to be a conglomerate, a listed entity in the Colombo Stock Exchange. And we are in the top uh, 50 companies. So that's uh, how the uh, growth has uh, taken place. So small beginnings, but now a, a yeah. much greater operation, yeah. What would you say your, your core areas of focus actually are? So uh, the core areas of focus from the agribusiness, we have built three uh, brands in tea, uh, namely Zesta, Watavala, and Run Carter. Today, these brands uh, hold 35% of the market share in the tea business. And in the healthcare business, we represent uh, many different multinational companies worldwide. Uh, and uh, we have really led them to be market leaders in their, each of their products. So that has led to where we are. Quite a broad range of products too. Is there a historical reason for that? Well, like I said, the founder found the business in a small pharmacy, led to as the country moved forward, uh, having its own distribution in healthcare and then moved on to uh, when the government uh, privatized its agriculture business, which is the tea plantations. We went into the tea plantations and didn't want to be a commodity producer, went on to building our own brands. So, and basically it's a uh, you know, brand building, distribution, uh, being closer to the consumer. Uh, it's been the uh, success of the company. And looking at the logistics uh, of, of operations, how do you maximize shareholder value? Well, shareholder value has been at the foremost of our company's priorities. So whatever we do, you know, we make sure that, you know, end of the year, we are able to pay an excellent dividend and make sure the share price of the company is uh, going up. So to, in order to do that, we select our businesses very carefully and where our investments are going very carefully. And the board of the company is very diligent uh, in, our, in our investments and how we make sure the new businesses we go into, et cetera. And that's how we add value to our shareholders. Now, I know you've actually formed strategic alliances. Tell us a little bit more about that and who well, they are. Well, uh, one of the success of the company has been in forming those strategic alliances. Uh, I can mention few. Mm -hmm. uh, one that started very early on, uh, especially in the agriculture business, we tied up with a subsidiary of the Tata Group of India. 
and namely uh, T uh, Tata Global Beverages. They are the uh, beverage company of the Tata Sons. Uh, they today own the famous Tetley brand in the UK. So we have tied up with them. Uh, so we supply, we are part of their supply chain worldwide and also, you know, uh, marketing our brands worldwide through the Tata Global Beverages. So that's been a very good strategic alliance. And of recently, about five years ago, we tied up with a edible brand a giant in Singapore known as Wilma. Uh, they also tied up to the um, Shangri-La hotels. So uh, as of July last year, our brand Zesta Tea is in the 125 hotels worldwide of Shangri-La. It's easy to see that the reference to tea there from yeah. a country so yeah. famous for producing tea. Um, what about the, those, those partnerships? Uh, what kind of opportunities have they opened up for you? Well, like I said, uh, you know, uh, being part of the Tetley brand, it's not easy for any other company to be with the second largest uh, tea brand in the world. And again, a hotel chain like Shangri-La, you don't just walk into a chain like that and say, here's my tea, take it. <laughs> so these are opportunities that are opened up. And recently we have tied up with another company in Singapore. We are building a dairy farm. Um, so that is also uh, another alliance that we are joining. We are building a state-of-the-art dairy farm in Sri Lanka. So you will have producing the best milk with a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Excellent combination. It yeah. sounds perfect. Well, what about... Uh, plans for the future? You mentioned obviously some of the things developing there, but what do you see uh, as being the opportunities going forward? So we see huge opportunities in the consumer brands. Um, you know, that's a, a area that we will concentrate. Uh, you know, we built a tea brands where we have large market share. We certainly hope to be in other beverage brands and also other brands that uh, consumer at large that uh, would like. So our trust will be in the FMCG area. Yeah. So, so really, there's, uh, the future is looking very interesting. Um, what, what are your actual hopes and personal desires? Well, my personal desire, like I said, the company is today 35 out of the top 50. I would like to see this company rise up to the top five very rapidly. Um, 2020 is going to be a big year. We would like to you know, cross that bar of where our revenue is today. We are a $100 million company. We certainly would want to cross that $125 million uh, range by 2023 20, years from now. That's the plan that we have. Well, I wish you every success in doing that. In the meantime, congratulations on the awards and thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much, Phil. Really appreciate it. Lovely thank you. you.